Hey everyone, how you doing? It's uh, Truncheon down here, and I'm just going to do a quick video to show you how I water my teas. Um, not all of them. I'm going to be focusing on the OBT um, slings, I suppose, because there's that many of them. Uh, it's taking it takes me a long time to water them, but it is very important. Uh, I did these ones uh, this morning. Not too much. I want to keep it dry, but um, I normally just it's the same, I do it the same way, and it seems fine for them. I've done it for a couple of these already um, but a lot of these are the nymphs uh, the first instars which are all now um, molting into second instars so obviously they're going to need a drink because as you know uh, spiders lose a lot of moisture and dehydrate when they molt so what I do guys I have my little pipette here I've got a jug of water um, this is not tap water uh, this is all filtered um, which is better for them and it's literally a case of I'll just do one squeeze in which is this is about 20 mil yeah 20 milliliters and then what I do is I just put it over one of the holes like so it's a bit harder on the camera and then squeeze it in Obviously, because my room is nice and warm, this will uh, obviously keep it nice and humid for the for the spiders. Which um, I mean, this is a quite a dry species anyway. You want to try and keep them, uh, you know, you don't want to keep them damp. But uh, as they are molting, they will all be very very thirsty. So while doing this, it should uh, it should be fine for them. And obviously, I do it away from the spider. I don't do it like on the opposite side, but I kind of do it um, like say a quarter away. So yeah, this spider's over here. So I'll do it over here. Like it doesn't really matter, but obviously you don't want to you don't really want to drown the actual spider. And uh, by doing it this way, it's, a, it's a, well, it's much quicker really. Uh, you don't have uh, you have got to keep taking the lids off and putting the lids back on, and it's just really, really simple. To uh, when well, you can see, I mean, it's taking me so long because I'm obviously going to hold the camera as well. But uh, if I was to do this without the camera. I can get through it pretty quick and you can see it comes down and obviously it will provide them with the moisture that they need which of course is very important oops a daisy and obviously if you imagine if I had uh, if I had to take the lids off all of these individually spray them and then uh, you know, do that for all of them, it would take me uh, forever. Oops, it is, this one's gone everywhere. Let's do this one quickly. So, there you go, that was, was that one, two, three, four, that was 12 done. And then I've got these ones in here. You can see this one's here just melted. And so what I'll do is I'll put these ones in their in their little pyramid structure. And then uh, I will carry on. It is a uh, it is very time consuming, but it is what must be done. You can see this one there, that white one. Literally must have only just molted. I'm talking probably min minutes ago. Uh, I can't see where this one is. Okay, just down there. He looks like he's kind of darkening up a little bit, so. Another one here fairly new to molt 
Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, the time at the moment is uh, 1.04 a.m. So, I mean, I probably shouldn't be too much longer doing this. I'll just show you again quickly. Again, let's spray the uh, pipet, pipet down. And the good thing about this is that if it doesn't go down the hole, and you um, kind of end up with uh, like a build up of moisture. I'll just try and put it on purpose, see like that. But what happens is if I screw it down and I suck back in, it should suck up most of the, uh, the water. And you can just put it back in. It doesn't take too long. So, uh, yeah. It was a quick, well, I'll say quick, it's been much longer than I thought I would have been rambling on for, but that's what I do in the earlier hours of the morning when I'm taking care of my spiders. So, yeah, I'm going to stop the recording now and I'll carry on <laughs> by myself. But, yeah, hopefully, this has been somewhat helpful to, uh, for you guys, showing you how I do it. Uh, so, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Take care of yourself and uh, I'll speak to you soon.